Brian David Marshall, a brief history of teams. The important word in that word phrase was <laughs> brief. Go on then. Uh, so, you know, three years of the World Magic Cup. This is the fourth season, but world team competition has been going on for 21 years. It's 21st year, Andy. And shockingly to me, only 11 nations have won a world team title. Uh, USA, Canada, Germany, Japan, Netherlands, Switzerland, China, Slovakia, Chinese Taipei, France, and of course last year, Denmark. Yeah, I mean, Team USA won a lot of them early, so there's been a lot of countries winning lately. That just hasn't always been true historically. You're right. Yeah, so uh, when you look at those teams, there's some pretty, you know, you're a Hall of Famer. There have been a lot of Hall of Fame players who've been on a world, who've won a world team title. John Finkel's won twice, Zvi Moshowitz, Kai, Misashi Oiso, Camille Cornelison, Makihito Mahara, I know a, a world team event that you right. were very fond of, and uh, of course, Rafael Levy. Uh, winning a World Magic Cup. Yeah, it's a great list. I, yeah. I love that. Just It puts in perspective how big a deal this team competition has been historically. Yeah, right. They, there you see the French team that won the World Magic Cup in 2013 with Raph Levy at the helm. And the famous Rakdos return <laughs> at, at the very end. I mean, they, they left it as late as humanly possible to, to deliver. But you know, the, the, you talking with Scotland just there, there's a real sense of momentum about teams. And Raph Levy's someone who also, like when he wins Grand Prix, he tells you that he knew he was winning the Grand Prix round about round five. <laughs> because it just everything felt aligned and certainly Team France in 2013 had that air about them. They came into Team Sealed on day two and they're like, we're just going to go through this exercise which involves us sitting around for four hours at the end of which we'll be 3-0 again. And they, they knew. And, and they, feel, they feel very good going in, but not a lot of teams have won multiple world team titles. You know, when, when you go through that, the history of those, those tw you know, this 21st year, uh, 11 teams, I mean, eight teams have won once, right? You know, uh, you know, you see uh, Denmark last year added themselves to that list. You know, they became the eighth team to win a, uh, you know, uh, a single title. Uh, you know, Martin Mueller, of course, and uh, such a, an ascent for him into the upper echelon of the game. Uh, but the, the number of teams that have won multiple times is very small. Only two teams have won twice. Uh, so if you look, you know, you'll see uh, Germany and Japan are two teams that have won the title twice. Uh, recently, Japan, 2011, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ishida, Fujimoto, and of course the Hall of Famer, Makita Mahara, um, you know, and they're still alive, uh, still, still fighting to uh, become a team to win a third time. It's only one team has won more than twice. Yeah, this, Randy, is, this is not a hard trivia question. This is, yeah, yeah. Not, not, a, not a tricky one. Team USA dominated this competition in the early years. Yeah, and they, they've won the World Team titles. eight, if I'm not eight. mistaken? Yeah, eight team titles. They haven't won since 2008, and they've never won the World Magic Cup. And True. they're not, not winning the win this They're not going to win it this year. Uh, eliminated at, at the end of day one. Possibly could have been eliminated even if they won that last round. And we saw the team that beat them didn't advance. Um, so, you know, and of course, the World Magic Cup, you know, three teams were still alive coming in here uh, who've won before, looking to repeat. They, they see the 2018 that uh, won. Yeah, incidentally, it's worth noting, on that previous graphic there, where they had the big check for $12,000, that was for Team USA. Right. Tomorrow, that check will say, pay $12,000 to you and you and you and you. Yeah, it's $48,000 to the winning team. That's, that's pretty good inflation. Not bad. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, I yeah. think that's one of the best teams ever in, in, in team history, by the way. Uh, Jacob, it, it's not often that the team that looks like they should be dominant <laughs> is dominant, but those three walked in, everyone knew they were the best team in the room, and then they demonstrated they were the best there team. There have been the some room. pretty dominant U.S. teams yeah, the early, early on in the history of world team competition. The early U.S. teams were just a cut above the rest of who was playing. Right, that because that's where the uh, game sure. started. The game started in the United States and it really radiated out to the rest of the world. Um, you know, if you look at the World Magic Cup, of course, Chinese Taipei still alive. How are they looking right now? Uh, so, yeah, they're in, uh, let's just have a quick look here as we head down. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're in this weird situation where because they're a bottom seed, they're 2-0, and oh, <laughs> fabulous, great job, uh, but it could still be a 2-1, two, 2-1, one, 2-1, two, one, two, one, and they're the bottom seed and they're the three, yeah, the yeah. third 2-1 out. Their, in their pursuit of repeating, France won in 2013, 
uh, they're still alive and in great shape. They're 2-0 at the top of their Yeah, and pool. they're through. They're through. Yeah, they're so through. They're, they're into the top 16. And, of course, Denmark, last year's champion, still alive. And four. very much so, because th there is an element of, of sort of, you know, you, th there's a geographic element to some of this. They're playing Iceland in the final oh, round. And, and Iceland and is eliminated at the bottom of their pool. Right, they're 0-2. Uh, yeah. um, so it looks to me like you have a very good shot at seeing Denmark at least get to the, the penultimate stage of knockout, which is top 16. Right. So, so Denmark and France very likely be in the top 16. Chinese Taipei sweating this last round. That's certainly uh, what it looks like. So, um, any sense yet of, of where this year's title might be heading? You know, I... I, I this year's I, crazy. I mean, I, it could be anybody at this point, which is kind of what's been so, so fun this weekend. Who knows who's going to win this tournament? It has just been glorious chaos. I, I honestly like France right now. I like France to become the first uh, team to surpass the, the, the two titles mm. for a nation other than the United States. Well, uh, we are about to find out. It looks to us like we have an elimination match coming your way, a straight shootout between the Swedish team of Philip Sand, Jo Larsson and Anton Johansson up against the New Zealand players Danny Liao, Gene Bromby and Jason Chung. Somebody goes home right after this.